In this video, I will show you some of the tools that are already installed on your computer. I will explain how to find them, what they are for, and how to use them. Let's start off with Windows Disk Defragmenter. To find it, click the Start menu, click Control Panel. This opens up a new window. Then hit Performance and Maintenance, and then hit Rearrange Items on your hard disk to make programs run faster. This loads up the Disk Defragmenter window. To see if your hard drive needs to be defragmented, click on it and hit Analyze. This should not take more than 5 minutes to analyze it. Once it is done analyzing, Windows will prompt you on a decision to make, if you want it to defragment or not. Now, if the defragmentation, if it's been fragmented over 15%, you should probably defragment it. Now, if it is under 10%, it's really up to you. You can't go wrong when using this defragmenter. Now, to understand it fully, I'd have to spend another two hours talking about things you probably don't want to know. But what it does do is compact unused files together. It also moves files around so the computer doesn't have to waste time looking for them. Obviously, this contributes to your computer's speed. So it has just prompted me here, and it says I do not need to defragment it because it is probably under 5%. So I hit close, and as you can see, red indicates fragmented files, and since there's really only two splotches here, I don't have to worry about that. Blue indicates files that are in place and do not need to be moved or compacted. Unmovable files are system files, and those will never be touched even if they are fragmented. So we hit the X in the corner here and now let's move on to Windows Disk Cleaner. The Disk Cleaner is accessed the same way as the Disk Defragmenter except you hit free up space in your hard disk and the performance and maintenance options. This will prompt you here depending on how many hard drives you have. Since I have two I am given the option of, of checking both. If you have one it will immediately begin checking to see what it can do. So I'm going to hit D. Now this is calculating what it can do. Now if for your main hard drive there will be many more options than this. You always want to check the recycle bin and Windows temporary files, temporary internet files, compact old files, and basically anything on here can be deleted. I mean nothing is that is important is on here unless you have something in the internet files folder that you have downloaded that you want to keep but other than that you can probably delete everything so you would hit ok and it would and it prompts you you hit yes it empties it and that's how that's the end of it now i will show you how to update your windows software this is very important to the well-being of your computer. Microsoft frequently sends out updates, but sometimes you are not given them when you have to shut down your computer. To access automatic updates manually, hit all hover over all programs, then find Windows Update. Click it. This will this will open Internet Explorer. Once Internet Explorer opens, Microsoft will begin checking your computer to see what drivers or programs you have installed. Then they will give you the correct updates for your drivers, programs, or security updates that you have not yet gotten. Why is updating important? Updating improves performance by giving you security updates, bug fixes, or new driver upgrades, as I have mentioned. New driver upgrades will usually maximize the what the driver can do. This includes internet adapters, monitors, graphics cards, and basically anything inside the box of your computer is a driver. Now I will explain the basic components of Windows security. Windows comes with its own firewall and other security options. To access the firewall and, other, and the other security options, click the start menu, click control panel, then come over to the security center option.
this will bring up a new window. This is your firewall option here. You usually want to leave it on because the firewall will protect you from intrusions. However, Windows Firewall is not as good as some other firewalls, and I will go over those in another video. iMac updates, and the option for that is here. You always want to leave these things on because as I said, the firewall will block against intrusions. Updates will provide your computer with uh, virus definitions, which will help the virus protection block and remove threats from your computer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on some pre-installed programs that you can use to speed up your computer. I will come up with another video soon showing some third-party programs that do more than the Windows programs. Thanks you for watching.